Charlie, we saw Mount Athos on the turf this morning. Uh, he seems to have settled in pretty well here in Hong Kong. Yeah, no, good. Um, we arrived here uh, basically eight days ago. 15-hour uh, door-to-door trip from um, Werribee, and um, look, he settled in great. No luck again in the Melbourne Cup for him, but uh, what's he, has he come out of that run? He's come out of it really good. It was a tough run, um, but uh, we've obviously had plenty of time on our, on our hands to get him back from that, and, and he, he recovered pretty quickly. Um, but it was a solid, solid effort, and as Craig says, all heart and guts in the last 300. He's acclimatised pretty well, obviously, here in Hong Kong. Good surroundings, he's enjoying himself. Yep, um, there's a lot more going on here than there was at Werribee, so much more to see and look at, but he seems to have taken it in the stride and, and um, enjoying the, the warmer weather. A little bit of a different route coming here this year from last year after the Melbourne Cup. What was the thought behind that? Um, it, it was felt that basically Japan probably came too soon um, from the Melbourne Cup last year. Um, so we've, what we've done is you know, given him a bit of time and, and come here to Hong Kong. You've also been acclimatising him each day down to the parade ring. Is that uh, just for his own benefit, obviously? It's, um, it's a, yeah, it's for his own benefit, but it, it's a sort of system that's been tried and tested by Mr Kamali for over the years, whether it be with Valbrav, Purple Moon or, or Presvis. So um, why, why change anything when, it, when it's not broken? Craig Williams stays on board and obviously he knows Hong Kong well, having ridden here successfully many many years yep exactly um, Craig knows the track he's a amazing amazing guy on form and, and tactics so hopefully um, we can draw a gate and and, and see you know get, get a bit of luck looks to be a pretty strong field and uh, you'd have to think if the fugue brings her a game she's going to be the one to beat oh for sure um, there's you know if she turns up and um, runs a solid race and I don't think any of us got really got a chance um, Obviously, Red Caddo, we've, we've got, a, again, got another two and a half kilos plus the distance he beat us in the Melbourne Cup. And Dunedin showed last time in Japan that he's um, back to his best. So it's going to be a very tough race. Um, but as I say, you know, he comes here in good shape. On paper, there doesn't look to be a lot of speed, and that's probably going to be a disadvantage for you again as well, I guess. Yeah, it is. Um, there is, and I can't find any really. Um, look, the horse. We know he, he pretty much got the you know, Melbourne Cup trip in two miles and he, and he does perform very well over mile six. So we are dropping back to a mile and a half, so we'll, we'll just have to see. And what about between now and Sunday? What will you do with him? He'll go on the turf one more time um, and then we'll just take him over to the race. Yet to be decided which day. Best of luck. Well, thanks.